Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in and I really appreciate you guys taking your time and tuning into my YouTube channel. So I'm back again with another video. Like I promised on my previous video when I was looking at the MacBook Pro 13 inch that on the next one we're just going to be doing a comparison. I'm not going to go much into details like I did on the previous video because most of the things is something that you guys know. If there's any question that you have, you can ask it on the comment section below and then I will definitely address that to you guys so I have the two devices with me here and here they are so I know it's kind of like not like a fair comparison because they are different in many ways and more especially in sizes most, most of the things that they have they're in common because they are from the same family they are both the MacBook Pros the only difference that we have now is the year that they came out and a little bit of specifications that are slightly different because of the form factors and what they are offering and the price as well so let's start in with the prices so the macbook 13 inch pro is a 2020 version and it's quite priced because of the specification that it has so this one currently is going for 45,000 rand and it's because of the specification that we'll go through when we're comparing the two. So 45,000 Rand and then this one by the time it was purchased, which was early last year, this was going for 49,000 Rand. So you're looking at like 4,000 Rand difference, but then you're gonna, there's gonna be some where you ask yourself why the other one is less and why the other one is higher or why the price comparison is kind of like closer. So let's look at the form factor first. So as you can see, so let me move this one on this side so that it's not covered on the other camera so as you can see how big each one of them is <laughs> already you can see that the 15 inch is bigger than the uh, the 13 inch and the difference is actually visible but however in terms of the display and everything that's always the same and then in terms of the features the only difference that you can see from the keyboard is my touch id on the 15 inch it's connected all way all together from escape button to the touch id whereas on the small 13 inch the touch id as well as the touch bar and the escape button they are separated from one another uh, in, in terms of the touchpad the touchpad well the advantage is the 15 inch is bigger so then you get to get a bigger touchpad and then the 13 inch is smaller so the touch pad will be a little bit smaller but however, all goes with the form factor and then you just choose the one that you want. And in terms of the stereo speaker, I can already tell you that of course the 15 inch will sound much better than the 13 inch. And then let's go through into the internal specification. And then the 15 inch has Core i7, that's the 8th generation. And then this has Core i5, but the 10th generation, which means the processor in the 15 inch is less expensive than what we have on the 13 inch. And then in terms of the RAM, the 15 inch has like 16 gig RAM and this one has the 16 gig RAM as well, which is the same. And then in terms of the internal storage, they, the 16 inch has 512 and then the 13 inch has one terabyte internal storage. And then now you can start to see that, okay, the 13 inch has more storage than the, uh, the 15 inch and then the 15 inch has um, nothing more than that the 13 inch is offering like for example the only thing that the, the, the 15 inch has which is bigger than what the 13 inch is offering is the processor this is core i7 however it's an old generation it's not the same generation as what this one is running the fact that it's core i7 it doesn't mean that it's faster than this one so you can see the difference to say that the two are closely to each other and i believe in terms of performance they're actually coming closer uh in terms of what they can actually offer and deliver so like i said on the other previous video when i was looking at 13 inch they all have same amount of ports so two thunderbolt ports on each side and then they also have an audio jack and this one like i said on 13 inches because it says custom specification and for me the only difference now if you were to choose which one to use i'm not going to give a recommendation it will always depend on what you are going to use the laptop for and what your needs are and what you're actually going to need to use the laptop for so that's it for this video guys i don't know if you have any question i thought of doing just a quick comparison between the two and actually see where the difference lies in terms of the individual and different specification that we chose 
so that's it for this video thanks so much for watching subscribe if you haven't click the like button click the bell notification button so that you get notified each time i upload the video and i'll definitely see you on my next video